Hi, we're looking at the Mass IA from the International Baccalaureate. What five top mistakes do I see again and again in Criterion A? How you can avoid them and get the full four marks available for Criterion A. Mistake number one is that the aim is not specific enough. You wanna have a super specific aim. For example, if I'm looking at one aim, which is I'm investing the mathematics of carbon sequestration in trees, versus I'm going to investigate if I plant a tree every single year, how many trees do I need to plant to offset my carbon footprint? That is super specific. You're gonna get marks for being specific in criterion A, and it will help the rest of the structure of your essay to be very concise to stay on target. In the first 10 seconds of reading your IA, I want to know what the aim of it is. Number two, long tables being included in the text. So the IA that I mentioned before about my student that was looking at carbon sequestration in trees, his principal data source was a table that had 65 entries. It looked at, it was a research that looked at trees from birth for 65 years. That table should not be included in the body of the text. You wanna include the first three to five rows only and then say to the reader, here is a table of carbon sequestration of trees. The rest of the table can be found in the appendix. So anything above three to five rows needs to be in the appendix and you show the reader only a snippet. The third mistake I notice is that people's essays are poorly organized. You wanna start off with your introduction, which states your aim. Then you wanna move on to the body of your text. An essay plan is a great idea here. Each paragraph or each subsection should roughly work like this. You're gonna start by telling the examiner exactly what you're going to do. I'm going to plot all of the data points from my table on GeoGebra. Okay, you've told me what you're gonna do. Now you're gonna tell me why you're gonna do it. I'm going to do this because I want to find a function that will fit the carbon sequestration of a tree in its first 65 years of life. Okay, now I know what you're going to do why you're going to do it. At this stage, you can also make some predictions. That's gonna come in, you're gonna get points for this later on in section C, but for example, I think that the function that will fit the data best will be an exponential function because I think every year the tree will sequester more and more carbon. As the tree ages, it will sequester more and more carbon. You're going to do the mathematics, create the graph, do whatever you set out to do in that section, and then you're going to reflect on your results. Reflecting on your results won't get you marks until criterion D, but too many people wait to the conclusion to make their reflections. So you're gonna repeat this process every single paragraph because every paragraph needs to relate back to the aim of your IA. There should be no extra waffle or no going off in tangents. Every paragraph needs to be back linking to your IA. Mistake number four is diagrams in the wrong spot. Diagrams should be in, the, in an appropriate place. That means if you're talking about figure five, because every single diagram chart table needs to be labeled. For example, figure one, table of the carbon sequestration of a tree versus a shade. Figure two, a graph I created on GeoGebra, plotting the data points from figure one. Every single graph, diagram, chart needs to be in the, in the right spot. So if I'm having to constantly flick back and forward in your IA to find the figures that you're talking about, that's a problem. It's probably in the wrong spot. If I'm talking about that table in the text, I'm gonna say, you know, the table from figure one, you're gonna be using the table's name. So make sure your diagrams, etc., are in the right spots. Number five is repetitive calculations. People including the same calculation, just slight variations on it multiple times. I have a student this year that's looking at comparing two different balls and she created an experiment where she dropped the balls from a height and she looked at the bounces until the ball came to a rest. It took about six bounces for, the ball to come, for the, each of the balls to come to a rest. It had two different balls, which meant that when she was fitting the functions with a sinusoidal function, that was 12 calculations which were practically identical with slightly different numbers. 
So you want to do the first calculation really, really well. You want to explain everything. You want to show everything. And then you want to say to the reader, the other calculations were performed similarly and you can find those in the appendix. Uh, a similar example, I had another student that's looking at income inequality versus votes for Brexit or percentage of votes in that region for Brexit. So he did, uh, he looked at the UK voting regions. There were 12 of them. And he did the first example really, really well. And then the other 11 regions he calculated, he put them all in the appendix. So mistake number five is repetitive calculations being included in the body of the text. I hope you don't make any of these five mistakes and that your IA is going to be very well organized, very concise, and always linking back to its aim. In the next video, I'm gonna be talking about criterion B, mathematical communication. Like, subscribe, and comment below if you have started your IA yet.